it folks this video is going to be really a short video in which we are going to talk about tensor board it's very important to understand tensor board so that you can visualize how the training is happening you know what are the areas you need to tune and tweak so for now let's start to see what all changes you would make to the previous video's code and make it run as tensor board so first of all define the log directory its content slash yellow caps you can have date time or i've just you know uh, commented it out so just say log directory is yellow cap and tensor blue callback function it is tf dot keras dot callbacks dot tensorflow and you find the log directory very very simple i have not done anything else and then please understand that this percent sign is a bash that means a shell script so from a notebook you can run a shell script program using this percentage sign now with this percent you have to do load underscore ext tensor board this is the command syntax to kickstart tensor board on a notepad if you are doing it through a unix or a linux shell script then you would not put this percent sign you would put just directly load underscore extension tensor board once done you would say tensor board double hyphen log directory and the the path again if you're on shell script you will not use this person sign with that said once the code is run you will automatically read graphs distributions and his distributions and histograms so we will see that and as a hands-on what you need to do is take the previous hands-on exercise implement tensor board and then track the changes of batch size hidden units and number of epochs using this tensor board. i'm going to show you how the tensor board is run as well this was our last uh, run on rmsc where it was 4.84 and then I ran this and I ran tensor board as well and I'll just close this section and you would see that it is showing you average loss and DNN you know how every units are performed but for me the best part was the loss how the loss changed and prediction the prediction is not that bad but i'm not really prediction mean this is prediction upon mean i am more bothered about the loss here so let's take a look if you remember the final loss the average loss is this dot which is around 220 something right let's look at the code i'm just scrolling up average loss is 220 dot so the loss for the entire step was 220 something now there are some commands over here so if you do if you want to do a smoothing uh i'm just increase the smoothing and see it's gonna it's gonna kind of remove all the noise and you would see a, a smoother curve and if you want to decrease that it'll show you all the variations because these are number of epochs please understand that these are number of epochs and for every epoch how the loss varied i'm going to show you this connection as well you have to look at a little bit in detail so look at that for every step there is a loss and see that the steps are in hundreds so it's kind of calculating every step but showing you only in hundreds and here you would see how loss varied and if you look at it it was and just smooth it out give me one second here i'll just smooth it out and you see that the loss was decreasing it was it kind of decreased and then was you know up and down like swings but this was my average loss okay so there is a graph screen as well and you can see that the how the entire you know the the training and the global step and deep neural nets how it went in detail in distributions you would see how the 
hidden layers and what was the activation function it was ADA and then you would see so these are some graphs I'm not gonna waste much of your time over here but just play around with it and uh, you would see a lot of information on hints so for me I just focus on loss and prediction mean that is what my focus area is I hope this was easy and uh, let's move to the next video which is feature engineering